From our SIM investigation, it seems as though this missing carbon is being stored down here in the form of dead matter um, after this decrease in the decomposer population. Um, so once they died, that matter uh, went, that carbon went down to the dead matter instead of being released into the atmosphere through cellular respiration. So we have a new message here from Dr. Brian Coring. Um, and it states that I've been reading through the biodome files to try and get a better sense of what went wrong in the biodome. You've been focusing a lot on decomposers in this chapter, so I left some notes in the files. I'd like you to look at these files again and use my notes to help you think about what might have caused the decomposer population to decrease. With any luck, we might be able to come up with a good explanation for the biodome's failure. So again, if we're thinking, where did this carbon go? It seems to be going in the dead matter after the decomposer population decreased. But we still don't know why the decomposer population decreased. And if we wanna help our Econauts build a better biodome, we need to explain to them why the decomposer population decreased, causing all of that carbon to be um, stored in the dead matter rather than being released into the atmosphere in the form of carbon dioxide as these decomposers uh, were conducting cellular respiration. Um, so you may recall um, in the very first lesson of this unit, we examined um, some articles called the Biodome Files, and these were records that our Econauts kept um, around their time in the Biodome. Um, so Dr. Corey left us some notes in the Biodome files. Um, so we're gonna check that out. If you have access to Amplify Online, then you can pause the video at this time and review those files. As you do that, and as you're reading through the files, look for Dr. Corey's notes. Um, there are some particularly in files two and three. And as you're looking through the files, you wanna annotate for places where you see evidence indicating what may have caused the decomposer population to decrease, okay? Um, so we're now here in activity three, if you're following along online. So we just did the sim, we're on three, um, and you will see here uh, links to all of the different files that are within this biodome file set. Um, I'm going to, on my screen, just pay attention to file two and file three because those are the ones in which Dr. Corey left us some notes um, to check out, okay? So let's go to file two first. And file two is where we're finding out about the Econauts themselves, who they are in their biography, as well as their job description for what it is they were responsible for doing within the biodome, okay? So I'm gonna scroll down this, maybe. Oh, Margo's coming to say hi, because we're waiting for my internet. There we go. Okay, um, so we're going to scroll down, and we already noticed previously that um, there wasn't an ecologist on the team, which seemed kind of weird to us. Um, and I don't know, I don't really want to read all about each individual person. Um, here we go. All right, so here's their job description. So let's look at um, what exactly were these people responsible for doing here in the biodome. So we had a gardener, picked fruits and vegetables, delivered to the chef, planted new fruits and vegetables as necessary. Groundskeeper, oops, uh, maintained the biodome grounds, rake up dead leaves, placed them in sealed garbage bags and buried them at least six feet underground. That is puzzling to me. I'm gonna highlight that, okay. Um, so if this person raked up dead leaves, placed them in a garbage bag, buried them underground. Um, dead leaves are a type of dead matter. And this dead matter is where the carbon from the atmosphere is now, okay? Well, I'm gonna note that. All right, so we had a computer systems operator, making sure the computer system is working properly. Someone is checking and maintaining the water system. 
We have a chef that prepares food for the residents. We have a hunter, hunted some rabbits to eat and deliver to the chef. As well as search for fruits and edible plants. Someone who cared for the goats. And someone providing medical care. Burial duty. In order to keep the biodome looking orderly and full of life, we will bury all, any animals or plants that die. They will be placed in sealed garbage bags and buried at least six feet underground. Bury garbage as well. Okay, so that kind of explains why up here, this groundskeeper was raking up the dead leaves, putting them in a garbage bag and burying them because they decided that they wanted to keep the biodome like looking neat and nice um, so that they decided to bury everything um, place it in a garbage bag before they buried it, okay? And here's our note here from Dr. Corey. Why did they decide to bury the garbage and the dead matter? A lot of decomposer bacteria can't survive below six feet because they need oxygen. Um, and so that's making me consider um, if the dead matter is buried, then the decomposers um, can't break it down because they don't have enough oxygen underground. Okay, so let's go to um, the, that was file two. Let's go to file three. And file three is that list of recommended organisms to include. And remember, oh, there's my internet again. Remember that um, there were some things in here that were crossed off, okay? And when I'm looking at things that are crossed off, it looks like um, there were less, uh, less decomposers to start with as compared to the other organisms. Like there's a lot of these decomposers that are crossed off, like no worms, no pill bugs, no beetles. Um, they're just relying on bacteria and fungus that's in the soil to begin with. They didn't introduce any of these other kinds of decomposers. Um, and so our note from Dr. Corey says, I wonder why they decided to not include worms Bacteria need worms to break down dead matter into smaller pieces so bacteria can feed on it. Oh, okay, so they have bacteria, but they don't have worms to help that bacteria break down that dead matter. Um, so I'm gonna summarize that. Okay, so the Econauts have soil bacteria to break down the dead matter. However, they do not have worms that help break down the dead matter for the worms to then finish. Okay, so like the worms kind of start the job that the bacteria then finishes. And without the worms, then the bacteria can't, can't do its part. Okay, so let's go back to what we were, we were considering. Okay. We were reading through those files and annotating for places um, where we saw some evidence that indicates what caused the decomposer population to decrease. Okay. Um, so at this time, I want you to pause the video and I want you on your paper to answer these two questions. Um, so review your annotations and based on the evidence that you annotated, I want you to write a claim that can explain what caused the decomposer population to decrease and then describe the evidence you found in the biodome files that supports that claim. So when I'm thinking about the annotations that I made, um, I noted that um, the Econauts buried their dead, um, their, their, their dead matter. Um, they put it in a garbage bag and they buried that underground. And by putting the um, dead matter in a garbage bag, then the bacteria that's in the soil can't access that dead matter. They, they, the bacteria can't get through the plastic. Bacteria doesn't break down plastic. It breaks down 
um, dead living things. And if that garbage then was also buried underground, there is an oxygen down there for the decomposers um, to take in for cellular respiration to help them get the energy that they need to survive from the dead matter. So if our decomposers aren't able to have oxygen or they're not able to access the dead matter that they're using um, to get the energy storage molecules from, then they're going to die off and therefore their population is going to decrease. Additionally, our Econauts did not have any worms. Um, and so the worms are important because they start the process of breaking down the dead matter so that the bacteria can then finish the job. And if I don't have any worms, then the decomposers, the bacteria that's there, can't access some of those energy storage molecules in the dead matter um, and therefore will die off and the decomposer population will decrease. Um, so it seems to be that this process, this policy they had of burying the dead matter um, really contributed to the decomposer population decreasing. Great job today. As we reflect on lesson 3.3 before next time, um, share your claim that we just wrote about what caused the decomposer population to decrease along with the evidence um, that we have to support that claim. And if you would like to reflect on what we've figured out so far uh, around carbon, you can complete lesson 3.3 activity four in Amplify Online. I will see you next time.